Hey, I'm Geek Pastimes, and in today's video, I'm going to be exploring the Magic Kingdom in Minecraft. Those of you who have seen my channel before will probably know that I'm a massive theme park fan, as well as a video game fan, so I was super excited to see that Minecraft were releasing this pack based on Walt Disney World, based on the Magic Kingdom theme park, where you can explore it and meet the characters and all stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to be exploring all of it, reacting to it, playing it for the very first time. I'm doing all of this live on stream, so it's twitch.tv forward slash geeky pastimes if you want to come check out my streams. And let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to check out in Minecraft, any things that you think would be pretty cool. I don't really play Minecraft very much, like I used to play it way back in the day, so I'm going to be really interested to see what it's like. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on so let's get going you can see here this is something like it's an official thing you can buy it in a store i think it cost me like six quid um so let's get going let's create it but i'm very very excited about this i saw a trader about this on youtube and it just looked incredible there's uh, if anyone has seen it before there's actually an xbox game there's also on game pass called disneyland adventure where you get to walk around disneyland it was originally oh my god it was originally built for um, Connect, but then they released it just normally on Game Pass. And it's super fun. So if you like Disneyland, which is the Los Angeles part, the Californian park, it's well worth checking that out because it's such a good replica of it. And this, instead of being um, Disneyland, this is Disney World. This is Magic Kingdom. Use headphones for best experience. Oh, it's going to be loads of audio stuff. Oh my god, they've even got the boat dock. So over there, that's where you would get the boat if you want to go to like the Grand Floridian or the Polynesian Hotel or the um, Contemporary and Wilderness Lodge. That's where you go get the boat from. That's really, really cool. This is like, this is the Edgers Park. So this, these are the ticket gates. Well, you know, use Magic Band or your phone now to get in. But I'm going to be massively nerding out like about the theme park all the way through this. So I apologize to people who maybe are less... Um. Oh. Okay, so this is built by Everbloom Games, by the way. That's the company that made this. Um, so you've got creator mode. Use headphones for best experience. Okay, what's this do? How do you, like, interact with stuff? I don't know. Oh, right click. There we go. This is a recreation of Disney's Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. He can experience 20 magical rides and attractions. 20 rides and attractions. I can't wait to see which ones they've put in. And even meet your favorite Disney characters. There's a park map so you can see where everything is. There's restaurants and shops and stuff. There's different attractions. You can interact with the cast member to start it. That's good to know. There's shops so you can obtain a wide variety of food, spirit jerseys, headwear, backpacks, and other special merch. Disney merch is really good. This is a 31-page guide, but I'm having to look for it because bloody hell, I love it. I'm so excited. Ever come across character and want to things you interact with them to get them to sign your autograph book? Nice. That's a real thing you can do at Disney. You can buy autograph books at a load of the gift shops and then go get them signed by the different characters. No, not that we've done that. Um, copyright notice, they have copyrighted music. Oh, so we need to put creator mode on at spawn so we don't have um, the copyrighted music. That's a real shame. I'll have to come back to this later and play it without that. But I also don't want to get sued by the mouse house. So let's not annoy them. And then there's, um, you know, the credits. Lots and lots of people. So we do have to turn creator mode on. Yes. No copyrighted music. That's a shame, but... Like I said, don't want to get in trouble. There we go. So, let's go in. For some reason, when we enter the park, I don't know why this is. I always enter on the right-hand side of the park. I've always done that. Um, so, yeah, we'll check it out. I'm going to just turn on my other recording thing just so I can make sure I've got both on. Oh, my God, I've even got these posters on. So, there's these cool posters when you go in the park. It's one for Big Thunder Mountain. That's very, very cool. It's a small world. I hate it's a small world so much. If there is, it's a small world. It's gonna be annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. It's so like they've got the scale so right. Oh, there's Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's just chilling. I've never been to this restaurant. Hi, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Just signing the autograph book. There we go. We've got one out of 28. Yeah, I've never been to that restaurant. It's always like super busy, I guess, because, you know, it's at the entrance, so it's always going to be super busy. Is there a way to get rid of that stuff at the top? Should we just quickly see if we can get rid of all that text at the top? Game, maybe video. Hide HUD. That's better. 
No, nope, I still got it on top. How do you get rid of all of that text? In-game player names, outline selection, no. So we have that. Game. No. How do we get rid of all that stuff? Or is it even possible to get rid of that stuff? Maybe it's just a beta thing. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of that stuff. Text to speech, camera shape. I don't know if there's actually a way to get rid of it. That's a shame. Because it would be nice to get rid of all that stuff at the top. I don't know if we can. So, we'll carry on anyway. Right, let's keep exploring. So, this is like the town hall place. This is where you can get things like... I can't go in here, I don't think. Then there's like the fire station. This is where the parade floats come out from when there's a parade. The gift shop. This is the big old gift shop. Hi. Oh, so you can buy stuff. You can buy, like... Poker shirts. A 50th anniversary shirt, because it is Disney 50th anniversary. But, I mean, I definitely want that. I can buy a Mickey Mouse plush that I can just carry around with me. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, you get Dory plush, Debo plush, Marie plush. Marie, that's one of the um, things from Duffy and stuff, I think. That's super cool. A miniature of the castle. Stitch ears. Yes. Do I like... Wait, is there a way to do... Yeah, your inventory. So I can put the ears on, I think. So I've got stitches on. Oh, it glitches through the other ears. There we go. I'll put the backpack on, though. That's, again, this is so much like the real shop. We often walk in there because, especially after fireworks and stuff, this, like, the main street gets super, super busy. It's the barbershop quartet. I forgot what they're called. I'm guessing they'd sing, but that's copyrighted music. My God, I never even go around this bit of the real park. It's, like, this is just absolutely blowing my mind and we're only on Main Street. Look at the castle. Look how gorgeous it is. Just absolutely amazing. There's Casey's Corner, the hot dog place. Oh, I've stood here quite a lot watching the fireworks shows and the parades and stuff. There's Mickey and Minnie! Well, we need to find all of the characters, obviously. In terms of the cast member to start the fireworks. There's the Walt and Mickey statue. It's a very famous statue. Oh my god. This is just spectacular. Right, I'm gonna turn the head off, like I said. Oh, oh. That's amazing. <laughs> oh 
on the park like I actually changed all the lighting for this. This is like genuinely a bit emotional. Oh my goodness. I've missed Disney World so much. We haven't been obviously since the pandemic started. Look, we were really lucky that we actually went for Christmas Day on um, 2019. So we were there over Christmas. It was like the last time we could have reasonably gone. We're planning to go back in April. I absolutely can't wait. We were talking last night about going to Disneyland Paris in a couple of weeks. Because obviously we can get to Disneyland Paris. It's a lot easier. This is making me feel like we need to. I feel like it's really hard to understand Disney World and just how incredible it is. This is doing an amazing job of, cap <laughs> of capturing that feeling. Left of West, thank you so much for the massive raid. Absolutely awesome. You ready January to start a fair nice waffle end. Thank you so much to all the left and west traders who just came in. This is the most incredible experience. Oh, man. We are exploring the Magic Kingdom in Minecraft. And like, Jesus Christ, this is amazing. More. So when they do the real shows, obviously there's been loads of different shows at Disney World over the years. They often now have projection mapping on the castle, and they have like different sections of the show themed to like either different ideas or sometimes different IPs, like different films or characters and stuff like that. This is like all the one that's being done without copyrighted music, so I'm sure off stream you'd be able to get this and you'd probably have some of that music. So I think this is meant to be kind of like the Aladdin section, it's normally a bit like you don't ever have a friend like me, stuff like that, and then there'll be like a Frozen section, a Moana section. It's so good, absolutely wild. this one for? <laughs> I'm getting so... I don't even like fireworks that much in real life, but Disney fireworks are something different. It's like actually bringing a bit of a tear to my eye. I'm not even lying. I think anyone who's been to Disney World will understand this has like a real emotional resonance. I don't know what they do to you there. It must be some sort of brainwashing or something because like... The first time I went to Disney World, I was super excited about the theme park side of it, because I love theme parks. And I was really, very, very skeptical about the Disney side of it, you know, about it being squee, about all the fake happiness and all that sort of stuff. And it, it just completely wins you over. Like, as soon as you step at the gates, it's like, this is 100% genuine and happiness. It's absolutely insane what they do. And it, cha like, it changes you. It makes it, it's completely addictive. That was bloody amazing. Like, properly amazing. And then the lights come back on. And I've got back to the normal things. That's absolutely incredible. So, I'm going to do the usual loop that we do um, when... Oh my god. When I go to Disney. So I'm not going to go to the castle first. I'm going to go round to Adventureland and then we'll go round kind of clockwise. I think that's probably the best way. Oh, we need to go talk to Mickey and Minnie, obviously. We'll go talk to Minnie first because she's standing over towards Tomorrowland. 
Hi, Mini. Thank you for doing the autograph for me, Mini. I never talk to the characters because I find the whole thing about talking to these people very, very strange. A little bit intimidating, to be honest. But I like seeing them about. I like seeing the characters. I get a kick out of it. <laughs> I know, I'm an adult. I don't even have kids. I just really like this. Seeing Mickey Mouse is exciting. It just is. I'm not going to apologize for that. God. I'm guessing because this is 50th anniversary, like this is all going to be like the way Disney World is. I mean, I'm guessing they're not going to have construction. They're not going to have like the unfinished Tron coaster and stuff like that in here. But everything else I'm assuming will be here. Hi. You can buy food. Caramel apples. Fried chicken churros called the doll whip. Yes. The grey surf hot chocolate. Mickey pretzel. A pickle. Can you just buy a pickle in Disney World? That seems super strange to me. The foos brew. The foos brew is legitimately my favourite snack at Disney World. You can get like a dining plan when you go there and you get um, snack credits. And my favourite thing to spend snack credits on is the foos brew. Apparently, I'd heard rumours that they've taken the marshmallow foam off. It's like an apple juice smooth like an apple juice like ice slushy type thing but then with like um marshmallow foam on top and it's so good especially because it's obviously so hot in florida so it's super nice um apparently i'd heard rumors that they were doing it without the marshmallow foam now but hopefully that's just a temporary thing that's coming back on the mickey mouse ice cream bars classic jumbo turkey leg never looked nice to me mickey waffles oh my god it's incredible so i can just like have a doll whip Can you eat these? Can you eat stuff in this? Or is it just so you can hold it? That's it. Oh my god. Right. We're going into Adventureland. Adventureland is always probably my favourite area of the ma of the main Disney parks. Oh, you've got the different soundtracks when you go in. So, as a little tip, anyone who goes to Disney World who hasn't been before, there's a place to get Dole Whip that's like over there somewhere that's always got a massive queue. You can often get Dole Whip from this little stool just here. So if you go in here, this normally has a way shorter queue and it's exactly the same thing. So get your Dole Whip from the little stool. Don't go over to the main place of the massive queue. Unless you want the Dole Whip where you get like the, uh, the upside down cake in it, because that is super good, to be fair. And I need to though, I'm sorry. Let's go to the Tiki Room. I mean, surely this music would be copyrighted. The Tiki Room is a incredible experience. Hi, we go into the Tiki Room. I imagine the work for this. I can't imagine how they're going to do the music if they can't use it. Oh no, it's really creepy without the music. You can see it, they're all singing, but they can't use the copyrighted music. The Tiki music must be copyrighted. That's a sad thing. I mean, I can kind of just sing the music. It's like, in the Tiki 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 Room. I don't know any of the rest of the words, but it says that a lot. In the Tiki 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 Room. It's got that kind of vibe. You know? I'm guessing they're not going to tell you the jokes and stuff like that. Please old. slide all the way forward. We get paid for the amount of people we take out, not the number we bring back. Oh my god, they have voiceover for this. Do you know how I could tell that's a python and not a boa? No feathers. <laughs> We're now entering banana country. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The amazing, the colossal, the stupendous, the eighth wonder of the world. The backside of water. I absolutely loved it. So we've done a tiki room done a jungle cruise we've done aladdin pirates i forgot about pirates i forgot that was there pirate sign is very cool all right let's go into pirates this area of the park genuinely is always super quiet like the first time we came to magic kingdom back in 2016 there was, um, the park was open until like two in the morning or something crazy. And our flight hadn't got in until like, we hadn't got to the hotel, I think, until maybe 9 p.m. But we went to Magic Kingdom. And so when we got to the park, everywhere was really quiet. And this whole area of the park, because all the shops and stuff were shut, was just empty. Like there was no one there. And it was so cool, like so mysterious. Just like went on pirates and it was like completely walk on. There was like nobody about. 
Like I said, if you want to pay this, you can just download it on Microsoft. I think it's on Minecraft on the um, Bedrock Edition on the store. It cost me about six, seven pounds, something like that. This is weird about the music. So this is normally when you've got like the yo ho yo ho biocide for me. That song. Again, there's more words. I don't know them. I'm really intrigued to see how they do fit uh, actual roller coaster. I really, really would love it if they did the other part. If they did like Apple Kingdom, especially but, like Epcot and on our Hollywood Studios. That'd be so cool. This is so good. Just so good. This is my favourite place to sit to watch fireworks. If you're on Big Thunder Mountain and you time it right just so you're on it when the fireworks are going off, you get such a spectacular view. It's so cool. And this ride at night time is just awesome. Okay. The Minecraft engine not really made for roller coasters, but they've done a pretty good job. Which I really like. Right. Let's go to Haunted Mansion. I'm one of those really annoying geeks who goes on Haunted Mansion and spoils the whole ride by talking about how all the effects are done all the time because I'm obsessed with it. Got one of those headstones. Am I deceiving me or is the room stretching? And this is like the best scene. This is the bit that I bore everyone to death and I'm going to bore you to death with it too. This is Pepper's ghost. So this is this entire room actually has a duplicate room down there underneath you and what's happening is the one down there actually has all of these animatronics in it the ghost animatronics and they're lit in such a way that when it bounces into that room which is just empty their reflections appear on a bit of sloped glass so you can see through all of these ghosts so they look really really ghosty and it's an old victorian theater trick that's very very cool um and like such a huge thing like doing it on that scale is insane but it's, you know, one of the things that they did very early on in Disneyland because, you know, the technology's been around for over 100 years. So this, again, there's a lot of music in this bit normally. This is where it's like... Dun, 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 It's like... Dun, 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 um, This is like this, you know, ghosts having a party in a graveyard, basically. Very, very... Small, it's a small world. It's going to be super freaky. It's going to be super creepy. I'm not a fan of this ride. In real life, I basically refuse to go on it now because it's so... And this ride, actually, although this ride might be interesting, in it? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a small world. It's going to be super creepy without the music. The music in the ride is famously quite irritating, and it goes on forever. And this ride is super weird because it's just basically stereotypes from around the world. But it's going to be a proper horror show, and that might be quite funny. It's going to be an interesting one. So, this is... It's a small world. You can pick out the countries and try and work out which countries are which for all of them. Is it going to do the mu... And it's not going to do the music. It would have started by now. So instead, we're just going to look at these creepy, creepy dolls all the way around. So, here we go. Here we go. I've got the lyrics for you. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears It's a world of hopes and a world of fears There's so much that we share It's time we're aware It's a small world after all 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 It's a small, small world There is just one moon and one golden sun And a smile means friendship to everyone through the mountains to, no through the mountains divide and the oceans are wide it's a small world after all 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 it's a small small world that's the entire song it repeats all the way through this ride all the way through this ride. I think maybe in different languages sometime but essentially it's just that over and over and over and over again I've annoyed myself by singing that much of it, but it just keeps on going. Just again 
and again and again and again like literally this ride's like 10 minutes long this is very a very good representation of the ride this is exactly what happens on the ride uh, oh hello daffy no not daffy donald can't say daffy get in trouble if i call him daffy to his face donald and donaldina her name's not really donaldina it's just again what me and my wife well what i call her my wife doesn't even call that i just do it there's the carousel yeah so this is a really cool restaurant they used to do a thing they're not doing it at the moment i'm hoping they'll return to it this is the beauty and the beast one so be our guest there's a restaurant and they used to do it so if you went for breakfast or lunch it was a quick service so you're go getting this amazing experience of eating in this like crazy themed room or for this free themed rooms um, and it was a quick service credit. So like, you know, it's like a, like the equivalent of going to like a um, sort of kiosk restaurant type thing. It's so good. If you go in for dinner and you, where you want to meet Beauty and the Beast, then you have to pay for a table service credit. Oh, I actually let you in. This is where you queue up to order your food. You go through here. Then you go through and you order the food on these little computers here. Then you go through and you get to choose three rooms to eat in. Choose all the food. So you get to choose. So there's this room, which is like the main room, and it's like very, very grand. You go to this room, which is like the art gallery, and has this like statue and stuff in the middle. Very nice. I quite like this room just because it's like there's a little bit more space in here normally, and it's quite light. Or you can go to the creepy dark room, which is the coolest looking, but also it's quite hard to eat your food in here because it's super dark. You go to this room, and it's all stormy and stuff. And sometimes there's big windows outside, and you see it snowing and stuff. And then there's the rose from Beauty and the Beast. And I think, like, the feathers actually, like, drop off it. It's very cool. Well, I'm impressed that they've got Beer Guest. I love Beer Guest. And they do like French food, obviously, because it's Beauty and the Beast. So you can get some really nice, um, get some really nice lunches and breakfasts there. Very, very much approve of that place. Right. Are they going to have Snow White? Like, that's pretty crazy if they have that ride. Um, but let's go around the back here. Gaston's here! Gaston's one of the best face actors in the thing. Hi, Gaston. He just, like, shows off to people and, like, challenges all of the men to show that he's the best. He's very funny. This is Gaston's Tavern here. This is, like, one of my favourite places to get food in Magic Kingdom because they serve Le Fou's Brew, which I have, I think I had in my inventory. They serve this stuff, Le Fou's Brew. I don't know how I can eat. I'm going to just throw stuff. But yeah, they serve the Foos Brew, which is that lovely apple slushy with marshmallow foam on top. It's so good. And they also serve these cinnamon buns. I kid you not, are the size of my head. Like, my head. They're like massive. They're massive cinnamon buns with loads of icing drizzled on them. So nice. But yeah, this, I, I personally, I don't think this ride is that great. It's very, very short compared to a lot of other rides. But the queue is very cool. It's definitely worth experiencing once. And the animatronics are insanely good. Really cool animatronics in this. Oh, let's go this way. Can you go around the queue? Yeah, they've got all these gemstones and stuff in the queue. They've got all these like interactive ones in the real queue. They eat all the stuff. Oh, yeah, you can do stuff. Yeah, like in the, it, this is cool. In the real queue, they've got these gemstones. You can like spin around and then they glow. And like they've actually got that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like a fun little family roller coaster. The swinging stuff is kind of cool. You don't really feel that much. Here we go. Ah, oh, they've got the animatronics. Oh, this is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Oh my god. This is a cool themed restaurant. Yeah, it was Sunny Eclipse! The legend, can you not get his autograph? I mean, he's an animatronic, but still. So this is like, just like a burger restaurant, just like a quick service that sells burgers and stuff. But like, they have this animatronic of Sunny Eclipse, who's like, you know, this kind of cabaret performer. Who, and he sings all of these songs are absolutely insane, but they're really, really cool. They're really fun. It's very, very good. I really like this. 
the um, first night we came to Disney World, like I was saying, it was open till like two in the morning. And at like one in the morning, we came over here to get some food and I had a burger here and we were listening to that. And I think my wife was having fever dreams after it because like, it's such a weird situation. Flashing lights and colors on this one. So you've been warned. If you're sensitive to that stuff, maybe like stop the stream for five minutes. Let's go into... Sp this is Sponty Monty. That's what my, me and my wife call it. Space Mountain. Sponty Monty. Let's go. Oh, it's got the cool little effects when you... Like, you have these cool effects when you're in the queue. They're like these strange kind of shapes that make it so it looks like the stars are kind of moving as you walk past them. Do we collect Disney pins? No, not really. We've got like a few. We get like, you know, ones for the um, hotels we've been to and stuff like that, but we don't go to many. Oh yeah, and there's two. There's like Alpha and Omega. There's two sides to Space Mountain. Normally when I've been on it, Alpha's the one that you queue up for and then Omega's they just do for fast passes. But they're basically the same. Just like mirror images of each other. I'm sure there'll be someone in the comments who'll be like, no, they're not. They're not the same. Ah, oh, the train looks so much like the real Space Mountain. I'm curious to see how they're going to do that. Because from my memory, this version of Space Mountain is mostly in the dark. Which wouldn't lead to a very good Minecraft experience, but we'll see. energized yeah we get a lot of, we've got a lot of fridge magnets from Disney World parks and uh, various Disney parks around the world um, but I mean I personally I don't really buy merch stuff I, I will get the odd clothing item if it's something I actually like that's about it Let's go. Oh, cool. I've got a star field. That's cool. I mean, this is cool. This is what Space Mountain's like. There's lots of star effects, and you're going around on a crazy track. This side really grew on me. Like the first time I went there, I was like, nah, it's not that great. It's like just okay. And then like, the more I've been on it, the more I like it, the more I appreciate it. It's a very cool little ride. Well worth doing. It feels so much faster because you're in the dark. Backwards when we went through that tunnel. That was very confusing. Still looking backwards. What am I doing? Right, here we go. What's that now? Let's go on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I have managed to get the maximum score on this. It's like 999,000 points, 999. Uh, we had a day where I literally had to go on it like three, maybe four times in a row with my wife. And I was like, don't shoot anything. I'm doing this. Um, but I got it. You get a sticker. I've got a sticker saying I'm a galactic hero. I think you used to get a pin or something. Um, but yeah. I mean, are you even a real Disney fan if you're not a galactic hero? Oh, well, we can... So we can shoot stuff. I'm not getting any points. Hero. I'll get points now. So there's certain things you can shoot. I can't remember what they all are. There's certain things that give you more points than everything else. I feel like the robot was a pretty good one. Maybe the top of the rocket's a good one. This is a lot 
like what we were it's like it's like a volcano or something you can hit yeah the volcano and i think like it's maybe like the top one of the volcano you want to get as many times as you can there's all these different bits that are like okay those are the ones that you want to hit those are the ones that get the most points you want to always be shooting obviously but it's like some of the things are worth such an insane score. You can see I've already got quite an insane score. So that's the map. Oh, we can see the attractions there. Oh, cool. It's actually a park map. So, um, we've done Swift Family Treehouse. We've done Magic Cups, Aladdin, Jungle Cruise, TQ, Impulse Cow Caribbean. We didn't go to Tom Sawyer Island. Big Thunder Mountain. Didn't do Country Bear Jamboree. Liberty Square, Riverboat. Didn't do that. Haunted Mansion, The Small One, Peter Pan. Print the Carousel, no. Mine Train, Mad Sea Bites, Dumbo. Twilight Speed Race, Spiderman, Astro, Tom, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, we did, all of, we did all of the ones that I kind of wanted to do. Oh, we can go around there. There's a couple of characters we haven't met. Got Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Look at these, look at all the autographs. Just, oh my goodness. I can't believe how good this has been. So this has been an epic two hour exploration of the Magic Kingdom in Minecraft. Thank you to everyone who's been hanging out here because this has been so nice. I now need to work out a way to turn this into a video that's not two hours long. I mean, I'm, I'm partly tempted to upload a video that's two hours long. Just because the whole thing's been a hell of a good time. But I think a shorter one would probably be better. <laughs> I hope I gave you some tips, Texas. I hope I gave you some tips for, like, the real thing. I always go out the other exit. So we come in that side and we always go out this side. You don't have to. You can go in whichever side you want. But just the way I always do it. See some more of the cool posters. And then we can leave. What an absolutely magical experience. They did such a good job with that. So good. Annoying I had all that beta stuff at the top. I probably could have fixed that somehow. If I can, I'll go in and get some more screenshots without it, but that was just amazing. Absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, obviously, Left of West for doing that raid. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you to everyone who stopped by. Um, I'll be streaming a little bit later. We'll be doing uh, some shipment probably and maybe some more Halo. Um, we'll do some stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!